YouTube, man, what's going on? Look, today, I'm about to get on y'all boys' ass, because this shit right here don't make no sense, dog. Nah, for real, though, man, we doing a little housekeeping today, man. I'm seeing um a lot of y'all wanted to send me beats after the last video to, uh, you know, fix the beats or whatever, and I will gladly do that, but there's some things that I'm noticing when y'all are sending me these, like these FLPs that y'all just don't really understand. So today, we gonna go over how to properly collab with other producers, man, how to send FLPs, how to send your loops, how to name your beats, how to save your beats, a little just organization tips, man. Things that y'all really need to know in your career. So without further ado, man, y'all know the rules. If you learned something in this video, drop me a like. That noti bell and sub to the channel if you haven't already. Let's get into this thing. All right, man, so let's just say I got a brand new project. I'm just about to make something. Uh, I'm just go through this and then we'll get into it for real. All right, so we got a simple beat here. <clears throat> so I'm gonna show y'all how to keep yourself organized first, man. I wanna show y'all something real quick. This is where I keep all my beats ever since my hard drive crashed. I bought Dropbox subscription. I just keep everything so I can have it on my phone, everything at once. Like I never have to, you know what I'm saying, carry a hard drive around anymore. But you see, since 2020 here, I've organized my beats. But if we open it up, so in 2020, I was just starting out, you know, I kind of started separating things by month. But as I progress, you see, I started categorizing things every single month. I make a folder for that month. And it just helps me stay organized, man. 2022, same thing. And now 2023, I've even started separating genres of beats. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to keep it a lot more organized. And each folder, if every beat has its own folder where I keep all the files for that beat. So it's never a problem where I'm gonna have to be like, oh, I don't know, I can't find the stems for this beat. I can't, you know? That's never gonna be an issue because I keep everything organized. Now I say all that to say, man, I would highly recommend organizing your beats this way. And on top of that, look at the way that I'm naming up my beats. So that's what we're about to do here, man. We got this simple beat here. The first thing we're gonna do is save it, right? So I'm gonna come to file, save. And the way I like to name my beats, I'll name it, um, like whatever the name of the beat is. Uh, we'll just name this song. We'll just name this YouTube ad beat, right? Well, next. What I'm gonna put in this is the BPM of the beat. So my BPM is 160, as you can see in the upper piece here. What I'm also gonna put in the uh, title is the key of the beat, if I know the key of the beat. I don't always know the key of the beat, so you don't always have to do this, but you gotta think, like, you're not the only person that's gonna touch your beat. Like, an engineer is gonna have to get your beat. The artist is gonna have to get your beat. Maybe they like a specific key or something, you know? So I like to, in to include the key of the beat in my title as well when I know it. So this is in a D sharp minor. And then also put your name in the goddamn. Bro, put your name in the shit. Cause how are people gonna know who the hell they got it from? Always put your name in the thing. Or you what you can also do is put your Instagram. I see a lot of people do it like that. Um, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Whatever floats your boat, man. But those are the main things you want to have. You want to have a title. You want to have the key, the BPM, and your name, bro. It's just that simple, man. Once you have that stuff, what I like about FL21, they actually create the project folder for you now. So you don't have to go in there and create a folder like I used to have to do. You just hit save. Boom. Now our project is properly titled. So the next thing we're going to talk about, man. Y'all are sending me these FLPs, right? And I don't have the same drums that you're using on the FLP, or maybe I don't have the same VSTs that you're using. So this is how you get around this. Now, this is mainly gonna work for people with updated versions of FL Studio. If you have FL 12, for example, and somebody sends you a FLP and they're using FL 21, you won't be able to open it on FL 12. But if we look at it the reverse way, if somebody is using FL 12 and they send me a FLP and I open it on FL 21, I will be able to open it. So, you know what I'm saying? Invest in yourself and go ahead and purchase your copy of FL, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like, if you're selling beats at all, just put that money to the side or, you know what I'm saying? Just save up for a little while. It's not that expensive, honestly. It's a one-time payment. I was, I was living that, you know what I'm saying? I was sailing the seven seas as well for quite some time, bro. But I realized like, I'm gonna have to invest in my career if I really wanna do this. So 
highly recommend purchasing FL, man. But boom, so we got our things here all stemmed out, right? I got my drums. Let's go ahead and split out the drums here. Now, you can put your effects on your melodies and stuff, right? Uh, let's say I want to do like some reverb on the piano. And I'm not really about to mix this. I'm just going to throw some effects on here so we can kind of get an idea of what I'm trying to explain to y'all. I'm going to throw a halftime on that harp. Um, that's fine. We'll just do it like that, right? Now, let's say I'm sending this to somebody and they don't have any of the VSTs or the sounds that I have, right? So as far as the VSTs go, what you wanna do is come over here to each of your sounds. You can hold control and hold shift as well, and then just click on the last sound. That'll highlight all the sounds. What you'll need to do is render out the sounds. So render and replace is the option I like to use. We'll just hit start. And it's gonna turn each of these files into a waveform. Now all of our files here are, wow, I don't think my shit had any audio this whole time. Bro, I just realized that this shit was not having no sound this whole time, bro. We got our shit stemmed out now. We got the sounds rendered out, right? So now it's these waveforms. So when I'm sending the FLP, no matter who I send it to, if they don't have the VSTs, they're gonna have the wave with the effects on the sounds. They're gonna have the sound itself. They won't have to worry about that. So let's take a second here and just get rid of our drums, right? Let's say you're just trying to send out the loop. So this is the way I like to send my loops, man. You're gonna make the, the loop however you want it to be. You know what I'm saying? However you want the whole loop to sound, like the whole symphony itself or whatever, right? So I'm just gonna lay it out just as far as like here. So this is gonna be the loop that the person that receives it uses. If they wanna just use the loop straight up and not have to chop out the stems, this is what they're gonna use. But what you also wanna include in your loops is the stems themselves. So what I'll just do is I'll just slide over a little bit. I'll grab one of the stems. I'll probably skip out about eight bars just like this, just to leave some space so they know like, okay, this is where the loop ends. This is where the stems begin. And I'll just move them out like that. So I'll just bring this sound over, skip out about eight bars, put it there. Skip about eight bars, put it there. You know what I'm saying? I think we had like one more piano, higher pitched. Boom, straight like that, man. So this is how it would look if I were to send this out as a loop. So what I'm gonna do now is we'll go ahead and export this so I can show y'all how this is actually gonna look when somebody receives it. All right, so you see here, when I drag the project back in, this is the loop. This is what it'll look like when somebody receives it. We have our title of the beat, the BPM, the key of the beat, and our name in the loop. So this is how the loop is gonna look for them. All right, so next bro, let's talk about this. So let's say I wanted to send out these stems, right? I'm gonna go ahead and get all my drums. If I'm holding control and then just slide down like this, I'll go ahead and grab all the melody too. I'm just gonna route it. <laughs> Damn. I'm just gonna go ahead and route everything to a mixer track here. So I'll go right click, channel routing, route selected channel starting from this track boom we got everything in the mixer so if i play it again we got everything in here um these you know what i'm saying i got the loop playing now but the stems are also in there so when i'm ready to send this out to another producer to collab with them this is what we're going to need to do all right we're going to come up here to file we're going to go to export and we're going to go all the way down here to zip loop package. This is how you're going to send out your FLPs to other producers. Once we click zip loop package, it's just going to ask us to save it. We can just save it using the same thing we saved the beat as and we'll hit save. So now that I've done that, I'm going to show you all what it's going to look like when you send it out to somebody. All right. So we're in the folder here. 
this is the file that you're going to want to send to somebody it's going to have this little zip package on there now when they receive it what they'll need to do is they're going to let me move this into a new folder so y'all can really tell let's just uh make a new folder i'm gonna name this tutorial all right paste so what they'll need to do is they're gonna have to take this loot package and they're gonna have to extract it right so i can just go to extract here and this is what they're gonna get. So you see what they have. They have the drums, all the drum sounds. So if I click it, you know, it opened on another window, but y'all see these are gonna be literally the sounds of each of the drums. They're going to have the melodies with the effects that you put on there. And they're gonna have the FLP itself, man. So all they'll have to do is simply open this FLP so I'm gonna double click it. Yeah, we'll say the changes or whatever. And it may take some time to load because on their end, like I said, if they don't have the VSTs, it's gonna be trying to find the VSTs. So it'll take a second to load in some cases, but at the end of the day, it's eventually gonna load and they're gonna have all of the sounds that you use, everything that, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna have every piece of the beat. And they'll be able to play it and do what they need to do. Like I said, man, we just had to do a little simple housekeeping here, like just basic things, man. Y'all got to learn this stuff because this is really important. So, yeah, man, this wasn't supposed to be a real long video today, man. I just really wanted to show y'all like this is an important part of producing, man. It's not always about being able to make the beats or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand some of the basic stuff to make your life easier, make somebody else's life easier. Just professionalism, too, man. Like you don't want to go in no studio session and all your files is named some bullshit and damn nobody can figure out what the fuck beat they trying to find you know what i'm saying it's just it's just like professionalism bro so now that y'all have seen this man i don't want nobody sending me no more fucked up flp <laughs> with some bullshit ass man yeah, at least give me the bpm my nigga if y'all want to do a uh, fix your beat you know what i'm saying y'all want me to do a fix your beat video to one of your beats um these are the simple rules i'm gonna need you to follow bro you know what i'm saying i'm not really asking too much um i think we can i think we can get this done man and i hope y'all learned something today and oh shit hold up i hope y'all learned something in today's video man drop me a like if you did hit that sub button if you haven't already as well and make sure you hit that noti bell so you know as soon as i post these videos that's it for today man we out of here